excited to talk to parents about enrolling your child in sixth grade orchestra today. This is my viola. I wanted to play a little something so you could hear how it sounds. Hopefully you have one of these on your computer or you've printed one off. This is something I emailed to the sixth grade teachers. And this basically says everything I'm going to tell you. The first thing is classes begin the week of September 21st. And there's a schedule on here that tells when each elementary is. There's an early morning time and there's a later morning time. The early morning time is at 7.30 and that class lasts an hour. The later morning time is at 8.45 that class lasts a half an hour. It goes a little bit into your child's first class and it is a school excused absence. They'll just miss a little bit of their class and all the teachers know that that will happen. Um, orchestra is a nine month class and that's what we expect all students to commit at least that long. We feel like they need that long to know if it's going to work for them or not and to develop good habits. Um, even if your child isn't coming on both those days that are scheduled because of the alphabet letter of the last name, your child will still be able to come to orchestra that day. So plan on coming to orchestra. If it is not a school day for your child, your child will be safely excused. Um, and then he'll, he or she will be able to go home. One of the first things you're going to need to do is to register online. And there's a link here on your elementary strings parent orientation letter. So make sure to go on and fill out that registration. At that point, you need to get some supplies. First of all, you're going to need an instrument of a proper size and condition. And a music store can help you fit that instrument. The way I like to size an instrument is to see if it is at least to here on the student and the student can hold the scroll without it being too far out. So that's one of the ways I size. And the music store might do it a slightly different way, but if you go to a good music store, it should be fine. So I like to call this portion, pack your parachute. Once you have your instrument, you are going to get a bag and you're going to pack your parachute every time. You're going to help your child learn how to do this so that when orchestra day is the next day, everything will be ready. So you're going to get a bag. The first thing you'll put in that bag is either a shoulder rest for violin or violas, and I like the Everest or Kuhn models, or you're going to put in a rock stop for cellos and basses. This is the right rock stop for a bass. It's just a round circle, and cellos can use that one too, but I love the kind on cellos that hook onto their chair because they don't move. So you may want to get that one. All right, continuing on with packing our parachute, we need rosin. Usually there's a place in the case to put rosin. So rosin is another thing that we'll need every day. The base rosin, it comes from the base rosin store and it's called Pops Rosin. So you can buy that online. All right, the next thing we need is a folding music stand. And as you can see, this will fit in the back. And it's also something that your child's going to need to practice getting out and putting up. When your child comes into class, your child needs time to put this stand up. There will be a chair already there for your child. We'll probably have a crew of children that will put those up and we'll sanitize those. And then the stand goes up. Okay, and that's going to be in the bag and ready to go. The other thing your child needs is a soft cloth, something like this that they can use to clean off the strings of their instrument. That also goes in the bag. A pencil. I gathered some pencils from my house today and I'm going to put them all in a little baggie so that once one of them is lost, there's a, few, a couple of others for backup. Okay, that also goes in the bag. We're packing our parachute, being prepared. You will want to buy a book called Essential Elements for Strings. And right here it says which instrument it is. This is a violin book. This is a viola book. There's also a cello or a bass book. So make sure you get the right one. This is a great book because it has an interactive element online and your child will be able to play with that at home. 
Okay, once you've got your parachute packed, you are ready to, to um, learn a little bit about instrument care. Now, the next part of this talks about reputable music stores. And all I'm going to say about that is, please don't buy a KSL or an instrument, instrument off the internet. I've had bad experiences and let's just put it at that. These instruments don't tune well, they're a waste of money. You will end up not being able to use it, so please don't do that. Go to one of these reputable music stores. Okay, so let's talk about how to care for your instrument. I'm going to get my son's cello and we're going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you get out on a cello or a bass is the bow. Get it out of the case, don't touch the hair, and set it somewhere safe, like on your stand. The next thing you're going to do is carefully set the cello down and unzip one side. At that point, you can pick it up, hold it right here by the neck, lean it kind of on your arm, and unzip the rest, okay? It, this is kind of like taking a coat off the cello. A nice cushy coat. So you kind of undress it, you take the hood off, and you can put this, the case over at the side of the room, and then your instrument is ready, and you're always going to hold it by the neck. Okay, the next thing your child will do is sit down, and I'll teach them this in class. They'll put this up on their lap, they'll unscrew the end pin and they will screw it back and I will teach them how to size this, okay? So caring for your instrument. Anytime you wanna put the instrument down, hold it here, hold it by the neck, and carefully put it down on the floor. Sometimes we're in gyms, sometimes we're somewhere with a hard floor. So that's why we're gonna be super careful and that's also why we have our rock stop. Okay, great. Um, your bow should be loose when you get it and I'll teach your student how to tighten it righty tighty so that there's about this much of space between the stick and the hair okay and then we loosen it every time we put it away we won't even be using it right at first but that's good to know each instrument has pegs and we don't want to touch these pegs because these pegs excuse me will make it go out of tune so don't touch the tuning pegs. The best place to touch your instrument, once again, is the neck. And we talked a little bit about wiping it off with a soft cloth. Your, your um, bow will be rosined and then we'll get some rosin dust on it so you'll wipe it off every time you use it. You'll store your instrument in a safe place where others will not tamper with it. So I put my violin or viola up on the piano and my son's cello once we put this away, we store right here and we have this little rack. Um, that is not necessary, but we don't have little children in our home right now. And so it works for us to have one of those and my son can just get it and practice it. And it's there. But if not, please put the case on your instrument and put it somewhere safe from pets and children. Okay, great. Um, don't use any furniture polish on your, on your instrument. It will damage the varnish. And any repair work sh should be done by an experienced repairman. So the last thing I wanna talk about is practicing. Practicing is the very most important thing besides coming to class. And it is a challenge to play a stringed instrument and that's why it's so great. It requires a lot of hard work, discipline, perseverance, and most important, consistency. So we want to get in the habit of daily practice. The minimum required for sixth grade is 20 minutes, five days a week. I hope you will do more than that. I will teach you how to practice and what to do. Parents, if you're not musical, it's okay. Just try to encourage your child. And try to read through things with your child and be happy with any progress that your child's making. There will also be a Canvas page to support you in this. Okay, I'm looking forward to a great year of music. I will end with a little song. All right, see you 
the first week of class.